The FBI is investigating after a passenger attacked a Delta flight attendant in midair. The flight attendant and another passenger were hurt in this incident. It happened on this Boeing 767 jet last night. Other passengers intervened right away to stop the man. The flight was heading from Seattle to Beijing. The pilot turned around, landing back in Seattle after the assault. Jamie Yukas is in Los Angeles with how one passenger says he tried to help. Jamie, good morning. Good morning. The situation could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for the actions of the other people on the plane. The flight had been in the air for about 45 minutes when a passenger in first class assaulted a member of the crew. These are some of the passengers who were on Delta Flight 129, waiting to get to Beijing after their plane was forced to turn around mid-flight. Delta 129 was emergency. We're coming back again. They returned to Seattle after a 23-year-old Florida man in first class started acting agitated. Another passenger, who did not want to go on camera, saw what happened next. He spoke with reporter Natasha Chen with CBS Seattle affiliate Cairo. And then he started going towards the exit door where a flight attendant tried to subdue him, where she got punched, and then another guy came in and tried to help, and uh, he got drilled too. The situation escalated quickly. And they broke two bottles of wine on his head, and then scuffle broke out. We used the cart, pushed against him, and then we tackled him. We tried to choke him, and he just threw me off like a rag doll, and then we zip-tied him and flew back here. Even passengers back in coach knew the incident was serious. We could see the scuffling going on. One of the flight attendants ran back and uh, said there was a code three. There was a serious fight up front. The flight attendant was injured, trying to subdue the passenger. And then she got hit twice and she had some cuts and her jaw was hit. And then the other guy uh, that got hit in the head, he was bleeding. The alleged assailant was arrested. They rolled the guy out. He was uh, handcuffed, feet and, and hands bound in a wheelchair. Now, two people were transported to the hospital. The remaining passengers were rebooked on another flight to Beijing late last night. The man himself will be in court later on today. And we do know from witnesses that he really was focused on that emergency door. He kept saying, Nora, that he needed air. Jeez, scary. Jamie, thank you so much.